So here's the answer to my first question, which is sketch the graph of the function y equals x squared plus 4x plus 1 by rewriting it. So I'm going to start off with the x squared plus 4x plus 1, and I'm going to look at the coefficient of x, the x number, which is 4. So I'm going to take that 4, I'm going to halve it to get 2, and then square that to get 4 again. With that 4, I'm going to rewrite the 1 as 4 minus 3. So I start by writing down the 4 that I got from that process and take that as the starting point for rewriting the 1 as 4 minus 3. So it's exactly the same expression, but I've rewritten the x squared plus 4x plus 1 as x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 3. Well, the advantage of that is that part of that expression that I've just written down is a perfect square, the x squared plus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square, that means it can be written as a whole bracket squared. So in fact that can be written as x plus 2 squared, and I get the 2 just from half the coefficient of x, um, just as I had up here. So if you expand that bracket out, x plus 2 all squared, you'll find you'll get back to x squared plus 4x plus 4. So the whole thing, x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 3, I've rewritten as x plus 2 all squared minus 3. Well, the advantage of that is that I can use that as the starting point for sketching the graph. So if I have my basic graph of y equals x squared, then I know what the graph of y equals x plus 2 squared will look like because it will just be the, shape, the same graph, but shifted, not to the right, but actually to the left, so that it cuts at, or it has a vertex at minus 2. So even though it's plus 2 in the brackets, it shifts it to the left and has a vertex at minus 2. Um, and then we've got the minus 3 bit, which causes the whole thing to shift vertically down, by 3 units. So we end up with the same graph but it has a vertex at minus 2, minus 3.